Ganymede, the largest and most massive of the solar system's moons. The ninth largest object in the solar system, the largest without a substantial atmosphere. Jupiter's moon Ganymede is the largest satellite in the solar system. Larger than Mercury and Pluto, and only slightly smaller than Mars, it would easily be classified as a planet if we're orbiting the Sun rather than Jupiter. Possessing a metallic core, it is the only moon known to have a magnetic field. Ganymede was discovered by Galileo Galilei on January 7, 1610. Ganymede is the largest and most massive moon in the solar system. It has a diameter of 5,268 kilometers. That is about 0.41 times that of Earth, 0.77 times that of Mars, 1.02 times that of Saturn's Titan, 1.08 times Mercury's. Its mass is 10% greater than Titan's, 38% greater than Callisto's. It has the highest mass of all planetary satellites and has more than twice the mass of the Earth's moon. Ganymede is a 7th moon and 3rd Galilean satellite outward from Jupiter, orbiting at about 1,070,400 km from Jupiter. Ganymede is tidally locked, with one side always facing toward the planet, hence its day is 7 days and 3 hours. Ganymede is the only satellite in the solar system to have a magnetosphere. Typically found in planets, including Earth and Jupiter, a magnetosphere is a comet-shaped region in which charged particles are trapped or deflected. Ganymede's magnetosphere is entirely embedded within the magnetosphere of Jupiter. Ganymede's surface is made up of primarily two types of terrain, about 40% is dark with numerous craters that are believed to be from heavy impact by comets and asteroids that date back to around 4 billion years ago, and 60% of the surface is lighter in color with grooves that form intricate patterns to give the satellite its distinctive appearance. Like Europa, Ganymede is thought to have a subsurface ocean, which could hold more water than all of Earth's oceans combined, overlying a liquid iron and nickel core. That core is what helps generate the magnetic field. A spherical shell of mostly ice surrounds the rock shell in the core. The ice shell appears to be very thick, approximately 497 miles thick. Though it is mostly ice, the ice shell may have rock mixed in. The daytime temperatures on the surface of Ganymede range from minus 113 degrees Celsius to minus 183 degrees Celsius. It was confirmed by Hubble Space Telescope that Ganymede has a thin atmosphere that appears to contain oxygen. The atmosphere is far too thin to support life as we know it. Several spacecraft orbiting or completed flybys of Jupiter have explored Ganymede. The first mission to explore Ganymede up close was the Pioneer 10. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 passed by in 1979 and discovered Ganymede was larger than Saturn's moon Titan which was thought to have been bigger. In 1996, the Galileo spacecraft completed a close flyby and discovered the magnetic field, while the discovery of the ocean was announced in 2001. New Horizons visited it in 2007 and sent back images and made topography and composition maps of the Moon. So far, spacecraft have only orbited Ganymede and several missions to explore the Moon in greater detail have been planned with proposals to land